hello everyone after bearings let's see what are rod joints these temporary joints are used to connect two rods subjected to tensile or compressive forces along their axis so first of all these joints are temporary joints temporary means detachable joints used to connect two rods subjected to tensile or compressive forces now what is tensile and what is compressive forces equal and opposite force set of equal and opposite forces acting along axis which tries to elongate or compress the body this is tensile and this is compressive if it tries to elongate the body it is tensile force and if it tries to compress the body it is compressive force so to connect two rods subjected to tensile or compressive forces along their axis both tensile and compressive both are axial forces now in rod joints we have four main topics first is sleeve and quarter joint second type socket and spike out joint third knuckle joint and fourth gib and quarter joint in first second and third case sleeve and quarter socket and spike out and knuckle joint the cross sectional area of the rod first rod and second rod we are trying to join or connect two rods so the cross sectional area will be a circular area so circular section in sleeve and quarter socket spike out and in knuckle joint but in gib and quarter joint the cross sectional area is square or rectangular so in sleeve and quarter socket and spike out in knuckle joint the cross sectional area of two rods are circular in nature but in case of gib and quarter joint square or rectangular section in the new syllabus of 2021 only sleeve and quarter and gib quarter these two topics are there in the syllabus socket and spike gut is not in our syllabus knuckle joint is also not in our syllabus so we have to solve or we have to draw assembly disassembly drawings for sleeve and quarter joint and then directly gib and quarter joint and in both the joints quarter quarter is the functional element so let's see what is quarter a quarter is a flat wedge shaped piece of steel of rectangular cross section it is used to connect rigidly to rods subjected to tensile or compressive forces and is inserted inserted at right angles to the axis of the rod it is uniform in thickness but tapering in width generally on one side only and the usual taper amount of taper is 1 in 30 so what is quarter a quarter is a flat wedge shaped piece of steel this is a quarter of rectangular cross section so the cross sectional area is a rectangle this is the cross sectional area of the quarter rectangular cross section it is used to connect rigidly to rod subjected to tensile or compressive forces and is inserted at right angles to the axis of the rod so right angle to the axis of rod means if the axis of rod if this is the this line is the axis of the rod then we have to insert this quarter like this like this means perpendicular to the axis of the rod it is uniform in thickness but tapering in width so thickness 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 of the quarter is constant throughout and tapering in width it means width width is not equal in top and bottom 
so the width central width this is the central width but on top the width is slightly greater than this width this is mean width and on its bottom edge this width is slightly less than central or average width and generally the amount of taper is 1 in 30 or 1 is to 30 so for a quarter these are three dimensions central or average width of the quarter thickness of the quarter and length of the quarter total length or height or length of the quarter next dimensions of a quarter let capital D capital D is the diameter of connecting rods then width of the quarter W or small d width of the quarter is 1.3 of the diameter of connecting rods then thickness of the quarter small t is 0.3 of d and length of the quarter l 3.5 d to 4 d so different dimensions are width 1.3 of d this is 1.3 of d then thickness of the quarter 0.3 d this is 0.3 d this is also thickness 0.3 d and the length 3.5 d to 4 d so these are three views front view side view and top view of the quarter where w equals to d is the mean width mean width of the quarter then length length is l and thickness of quarter small t other things are these are other things additional height additional height and curved ends so this will be given to you in the problem statement but basic standard dimensions are w t and l and last taper taper 1 is to 30 generally this is the amount of taper provided on the one side either on the left side or on the right side one side of the quarter so now let's assume some value of d and let's try to calculate different dimensions of the quarter so for example if d if capital d diameter of the rod is 25 mm then width of the quarter average or mean width of the quarter 1.3 of d will be 32.5 mm then 0.3 d 0.3 d is approximately 7.5 mm and length of the quarter 3.5 d to 4 d so it's better to take 4 d so 4 d is 25 into 4 100 mm so for 7.5 let's assume 8 and for 32.5 let's assume 32 so these are final values 32 8 and 100 now for these given dimensions calculated dimensions we have to draw front view top view and side view of the quarter in assembly so first of all draw center line center line then mean width then half of length half of length on above and below half half then its thickness thickness is t and the top view and for upper curved part upper curved portion this has radius this has radius upper width this has radius and find the center by approximate arc method and then draw upper and lower curved ends of the quarter last and very important if the width if the width is given to you upper width and lower width if this width say this is w1 and this is w2 with taper w1 and w2 if upper and lower width is given to you then it's very simple to construct a quarter but if the mean width is given to you mean width means width at the middle or center if this width is given to you and taper say the taper is 1 is to 30 then how to calculate upper and lower width this is very important so for example again say this is the quarter i am just trying to explain it by drawing additional lines so this is the mean width w say this is x 
and this is also x right so on the top total width this is the total width and total width w1 is central or average width plus x in width at the bottom width at the bottom w2 is w central width minus x so upper width central width w plus x lower or bottom width w2 w minus x now what is x x is the amount of taper or additional length so how to calculate x here the ratio is 1 is to 30 1 is to 30 and for this part for this part if the length is l by 2 so if this is l by 2 if this is l by 2 then this is x and this angle this angle or tangent of this triangle is 1 is to 30 1 is to 30 means this is 1 in 30 or this ratio ratio of x by half of l is equals to 1 in 30 or 1 is to 30 so x by l by 2 this is the relation so 1 in 30 means tangent tangent means 10 inverse of this angle 10 inverse of this angle is equals to 1 by 30 so using this trigonometric relation we can calculate the amount of x x x by half of l x by l by 2 is equals to the taper 1 is to 30 so in this problem the value of x will be x is l by 2 l by 2 so full length total length is 100 so l by 2 is 50 50 by 30 so 50 by 30 means 5 by 3 or 1.666 for construction work we'll assume 2 so x is 2 so w1 upper width is central width w upper width is central width w w is 32 32 plus 2 equals to 34 and lower width w2 is average width minus x minus 2 so 32 minus 2 30 it means for the construction work upper width is 34 lower width is 30 and the mean width is 32 so after calculation after calculation of upper width and lower width then we have to start its construction work now the next thing is use of taper in quarter joint first to compensate for the gap generated due to wear in the joint and second taper helps in insertion into the position and withdrawal and lateral adjustment of connecting parts so this is all about basics of rod joints and quarter in the next class we will start its construction work means we will start assembly and disassembly drawings of first topic that is sleeve and quarter joints and if you have any doubt any problem in any of the topic of engineering graphics or machine drawing engineering graphics of class 11 12th and university scheme please write your comments in the comment box thank you